I just completed a two bundle game deal for $200. So one one bundle was $100 and the other bundle was $100. So a total of $200. Now the se the second bundle or second I mean first bundle technically I got I got yesterday or last night I got a bunch of games and I got a system. <laughs> yes, I got a system. So the games they're not really top of the charts or anything, but you know, just add to the collection. So the first game I got was Lynx Crossbow Training. And then I got the collection series, I guess, of Decca Sports 1 and 2. I'm pretty sure when I do playthroughs or walkthroughs of these games, they're going to be like five minutes and I'll be done. Uh, I got Game Party 3. Never heard of... I've never heard of these, some of these. This one I don't even know if I'm pronouncing right. Fur Ferv, or it's Fur... Fur... Furu... Furu... Oh my gosh. Park. So if you can pronounce it, congratulations, because I have no idea. Um, and then this one. <laughs> Solitaire and Mahong. Okay, well, you know, gotta have card games, I guess. So I think the two best games I got out of this deal was this one, Dance Dance Revolution 3 Hottest Party, which I'm pretty excited to play that. I'll get to that in a minute. And Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock. And I already have a guitar and a drum set, which doesn't have the blue button working on the guitar or the pedal for the for the drum set. But I have another Guitar Hero uh, game, because the one I have up in my Wii collection back there is World Tour. So now I have Legends of Rock version. And what else I got with the Wii is I got... The Dance Dance Revolution mat. I'm not going to open it up because it's already pre packed ready to go to my parents' house. So I can play it with my mom. And hopefully the pad works. That's when I'm going to test it out. Also with that bundle, I got a few extra accessories. I got really random accessories too. I got three uh, like strap things. I got about five random battery pack chargers, which I don't know if they even work or not. A little case for one controller and two nunchucks. So two nunchucks, don't even know if they work or not. So those are the accessories I got. Um, but last and not least part of the Wii collection that I got that I really wanted to, to buy this, oh my gosh, 100 bucks worth of stuff is I got the Wii console. Oh yeah. I got the Wii console complete in box with all its packaging and everything. And I actually used to have this box back when I got my Wii because when I got my Wii, I got this version. I got the black Wii for my birthday, this version, and let's just say I was stupid back then and I got rid of the cons or the box because I, at the time I was like I don't need this box anymore well I was stupid so you know that's what happened and everything and I haven't even opened this up because I thought I was going to open it at my parents house but I just want to see what else is in here like probably the actual controller not to mention the Wii itself so yes um, this box has the Wii, the controllers, the how to hook it up all that goody good stuff it's even got twisted bands on it. And then this box, box number one, I see a nunchuck in here. Hold on. This is ugh, getting a little bit... Ow, I just cardboarded myself. That hurt. Whoops, there goes a nunchuck. Maybe I should have turned it over. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I got the, another black nunchuck, which is just great, because the, the black nunchuck that I had, it kind of broke because I raged. 
a bit. Oh, yep, I got a controller. Nice. And I have a sensor bar. And then what's really cool, I still have all the manuals and guides, but now I have a second set of all the manuals and guides, which is nice. Which is awesome. But yeah. Here is the Wii controller. So now I have two black Wii controllers, which is honestly, I like it the most because they're black and blacks. I don't know. I just like a black, black look. It looks sleek. It looks rad to me. So yeah, that's what I got. I don't think I have the Mario games in there. Unfortunately, it looks like I have the manual, but I don't think I have the game, which is unfortunate, but I already own the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So that's what I got of the second, or the first collections. I got. I'll show you now. So I'll show you the games first. I just got this literally like I'm not even kidding, like ten minutes ago. So I got accessories. I got three Nintendo DS cases for like three games each, it looks like. Which is nice because I have a bunch of games that don't have any cases themselves. I got a DS charger. Which is fine, good to know. Um, and I got this weird Squee Balls Party DS pen, looks like, which is, <laughs> it looks like a demon. I don't know what that's supposed to be for, but I got a manual for Picto Chat, which I don't have no idea what that is, but whatever. And I got a bunch of DS games, and they're all complete in box, which is part of the reason why I wanted this collection. They're all complete in box. Uh, so this first game is Great Dinosaur Rescue. Go, Diego, go! <laughs> I got FIFA Soccer 11. Here's the Squee Balls Party game, which is, I guess, goes with this pen, because it's the same brand or whatever. Uh, this game I already own, Mario Kart DS. I already own it. But I have another case. I just opened it up and there's no game inside. That's great. Uh, hopefully not. most of these aren't like that. Good. The one that I really wanted was Super Mario 64 Deep for the DS, which is awesome. I can't wait to play that. Sonic Rush. Chuck E. Cheese's Party Games. Okay. And the last one, last game, is Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, which is pretty dope. It looks pretty dope. Yep. So that's a bunch of DS games as well as the best part of the collection, which is why I wanted it in the first place. Complete inbox a DS Lite. The blue version looks like, which is really rad. I'm happy about that because I wanted the complete inbox version so that I can say, hey, I own a DS Lite with the complete inbox so that I don't have to get it. So it's a DS Lite, it looks pretty sick, I'm pretty sure it turns on, I'm not sure if there's actually any juice in it. There is juice in it. So yeah, I have a DS Lite. Oh, you know what? Speaking of Mario Kart, I just found it. <laughs> it was in the it was in the DS itself, that's why I couldn't find it. So I did have the game, alright. Well that's great. So. And that's interesting. It's a white stylus instead of a black one. I would have thought it would have been black. But you could open up the bottom. You could play uh, Game Boy Advance games down there. And I'm not sure if you could play um, uh, Game Boy Color or Game Boy Original, but I know Game Boy Advance definitely you could play those games in the DS Lite. The DS Lite was the first DS I'm pretty certain that came out because it could. it is compatible with those games. But yeah, that's... I mean... I'm happy with my purchases. For $200, I got two complete in box systems with two different purchasers. They weren't the same person or anything, but I am so happy and it's like I have this box now, complete in box with game with um the warranty stuff and all that stuff that I'll never use, but it's it to me it's it's a collection. And this completes 20 consoles for me. So I now have 20 total consoles. Now, granted, I only have a select few of them being complete in box, 
but as far as usable, workable consoles, I have 20 now. And I am so happy about that. So, without further ado, I'm going to end this video right here. I'm glad it was at least some chunk of stuff. That was how much games I got uh, just fairly recently within two days compared to a couple weeks ago when I got those free, free games from Trady Game. And now I'm going to test all these out and make sure they all work and make sure that um, it'll be good to go for the future. So, without further ado, happy going to other channels and other content. And I hope to see all you guys with another video game upload soon if I can find good deals. Anyways, bye!